Good morning. Good morning. Got my coffee. I'm in the fall. <laughs> oh yes, it's it's going to be a gorgeous day. We're all going to have a gorgeous day. How is everyone doing? Good? Oh, enjoying this fall weather, aren't you? <laughs> yes, you are. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I thought I'd read some comments this morning before I did anything else. Because <laughs> uh, uh, you know how we talk. We just talk and talk and talk. <laughs> oh, my. Well, my first message this morning. Oh, by the way, do you know who you are? What day it is? All those things that are important in life. <laughs> oh, not until 10 o'clock after you had two cups of coffee or two Cokes. <laughs> oh, first comment, first one today is Teresa Davis. Looky here. Oh, my goodness. Says, hi, Mima. Hi, Mima. I like this video and wanted to let you know that I have been sending out cards for a long time. I started as a teenager. I just love to make everyone's day, someone's day. It makes me happy to send out cards. I like doing this. And love how it makes people feel happy. I love you. I love you too, Teresa. Yes, isn't it amazing how someone gets a card? It's just, it warms your heart that somebody actually thought of you, took the time, Bought the card, bought the stamp, wrote a note or a letter, and mailed it. Yes, you are right, right, right. I'm sure everyone who's ever received a card from you, you have touched their lives and made it better. Made it better. I'm so proud of you, Teresa. So proud. And here's Bonnie Myers. Hey, Bonnie. Yeah, you're recuperating. You had a really good time there at that craft show. <laughs> I mean, at that craft booth. I'm so proud. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. <laughs> you didn't even have time to eat the food, did you? <laughs> well, it's good. Seeing all those people, I, I do I do envy you that. And Bob, good morning, Bonnie. It says, I had an omelet this morning. And I'm going to put some eggs into pickle for my son. Two of my kids like pickled eggs. Not me. I call them rotten eggs. <laughs> you know, as many times. <laughs> you're funny, Bonnie. As many times as my daddy sold <laughs> pickled eggs there at the little gas station when I was little, real little. People would just, oh, they just had to have one of those pickled eggs. Do you know I have never ate a pickled egg? That's right. I love pickles, and I love boiled eggs. In fact, I've got some on the oven right now. I mean, on the stove right now, boiling. It's a pick, not pickled, <laughs> pickles, but a boiled egg. Four boiled. No, I think I put four in there to boil for salads and stuff. So you had an omelet. So you put like peppers in it and all that good stuff. Oh, did you see Fiber, Fiber Spider? He did a one on uh, tomatoes. He made like a bisque uh, from scratch. Well, the tomatoes were in a can, but <laughs> but oh, it, it sounded wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, I'm so tired of canned soup. I just even opening a can, I just can't eat it. I just can't eat it anymore just <laughs> I've had enough okay but omelets oh I love omelets mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Ooh, I like them with jalapenos and peppers in it and onions in it cheese in it I don't I just love it <laughs> um, one of these days maybe I'll put that pickled egg on my list I just now I've gone 75 years of that <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. I do like pickles and eggs. There you go. And a lower end, there's Butterfly. Hi, hi there. Hi there. Hi there. 
uh, I will have students writing to you next week. Oh, that's cool. I sent you my email address on the re reply to your comment today, so you should have it. Yes, I'm very excited about seeing <laughs> getting those letters. Yes, I, I really am excited about that. <clears throat> and hey, Maribel, how you doing? Hey, Mima, I'm so happy it's Friday. Can you use the break from work. Oh, yes, and after, you know, the fun with your son and traveling and then going back to work. And look here, excited to be able to crochet until the late hours tonight. There really is no place like home. Yes, yes. You know, everyone says that there's no place else like home. You know, going to work or going on vacation or just being out of town for a craft show or something, you know, just coming home, being home, yes, being home, I agree, love you very much, love you very much, and here's Jill, hi Nima, hi Jill, I have two cups of coffee in the morning, or whenever I wake up, <laughs> then for lunch I have some fresh fruit and some raisin bran cereal, over it and some milk. Mmm, that does sound good, doesn't it? Then I eat supper in the evening and I always have to have something sweet after supper. <laughs> Even if it's sucking on a piece of hard candy. There you go. <laughs> I'm always sipping on ice water and iced tea. There you go. That's old Jill's routine of eating each day. Love you, Mima. <laughs> You eat just about like me. <laughs> yeah, I eat my meals on wheels at lunch and breakfast this morning. I did have an egg and toast this morning with my coffee. But, uh, yeah, meals on wheels, lunch, and then for supper, snack. I think I got popcorn for tonight for a snack. I think it's really good for bedtime. Good to hear from you. Good to hear you're doing well. And here's Joy Bird. Hey, Joy Bird. <laughs> there you are, just as bright and happy as usual. I know the kids will love whatever you send them. Well, I sure hope so. I'm, I just want to know what, I just don't know how this is going to work out, but I'm, I'm willing to try. I'm willing to try. I am willing to try. So, that's comments for today. Thank you so very much for taking the time to write to me. I was... uh. Earlier this morning, I was watching uh, Viper Spider because he was doing the soup, you know. And I thought, that looks so good. And he makes it look so simple. Of course, you know, I'm not a very good cook. You know, I told you I made cornbread yesterday. Yeah, I made a pan of cornbread. And when I went to empty them out of the muffin pan, they fell on the floor. Well, Clyde got two, and Connor got two. One rolled underneath the little <laughs> thing, the, the, what do you call it, island, island. And I got one. It, it got stuck in the muffin thing, so I was like precious to me. Because when they hit the floor, they just fell apart. So I must have put too much water in them, I guess. But I'm not a cook. I just, I try and I try and I try, but I have to really do one thing and just think about whatever that is, just like that egg this morning I was cooking. I couldn't even cut the butter, put a little, little <laughs> butter in my pan. I mean, it was just, everything is so hard like that, but I do love a good, easy recipe, and I do believe that I could, I could try it. But I'm so tired of canned soup. I really am tired of canned soup. And I saw this morning where uh, Robin uh, hooked. Robin is, is it Robin? Hmm. I, one of them, when she was doing little keychains and stuff. And I was thinking, you know, I ought to make some little keychains, you know. Kids might enjoy those. And, but I don't, you know, I don't. Maybe, you know, I talk a good game, but sometimes I don't do everything I want to do. 
Do you ever do that? Hmm. I don't know if I want to do that. But I did go through some of my cards, so I've got some good cards picked out to mail. But, uh, and I'm still working on getting a post office box. I guess I'm going to have to, well, what happened, uh, I ha well, they wouldn't let me have one because I didn't have anything with my change of address on it that they would approve. So I've got to update my voter um, address for my voter registration. Um, I'm in the same area and everything, but it's the wrong address. And so the post office says, no, no, well, we can't give you a box, you know. So, uh, I'm working on that, and I will get me a post office box. And that way, I don't have to worry about getting in trouble, having it mailed, you know. So, uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And I'm anxious to get out and sit in my yard this morning, I think. In fact, I was going to do a video out there this morning, but it's a little nippy. I put me a sweater on. Did you see it? Pulled out my old favorite sweater. I love it's light, 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 but it's warm, warm, warm. And it was too big, and I just cut the middle out of it so I could use it as a cardigan. It was a pullover. But I just like it. I like the color, and it's comfortable and soft. So, get the sweaters out. Right now, it's 62 degrees outside. I may have to take Connor for a little stroll. Get the hover round out and see how far we can get this morning. We'll just have to wait and see. Oh, I'm still adding and adding the colors, you know, to my uh, uh, Queen Elizabeth lap, throat, lap blanket. I think I probably have it done by tomorrow. It's according to what I want to stop adding colors to it. Because <laughs> I'm still, I'm stuck in the black, black, purple, yellow, white, pink. And of course the crown will be blue. But I might put this crown color, this blue color around the edges of it. I don't know. It's sort of got, it's beginning to look gaudy. <laughs> First, it was looking good, and then I started adding all these colors. Now it looks like a clown. <laughs> See how it is? <laughs> it looks like a clown pattern almost. <laughs> but it would be warm to cuddle in. I think that'll be okay. That'll be okay. Well, I have nothing to say today. <laughs> I managed to talk for what? 13 minutes. And I but anyway, I hope you have a great day, and uh, remember that you are special, very, 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 very special, and that God has you in the palm of his hand. Pray for Mother Earth, our bumblebees, our butterflies, our caterpillars, and for each other, because we're all on this earth together. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.